guys, good morning. It's Cecilia, aka For Real Silly, what 90 Days Can Do in the MLS Bitcoin Club. Coming to you this morning just to shout you out and say, hey, today's word is money. Why I say money? Well, you know, some say money is the root of all evil. Others say, you know, everything revolves around money. Um, that could be true on both aspects, but uh, I'll say money is an interesting topic and I'll tell you why I chose money today. Um, I'm on a platform that is changing my future outcomes and it has changed the way that I look at money as a whole. So when we, when we inside the MLS Bitcoin Club think of money, it starts with cash flow, how to generate cash flow, and how to generate a multitude of cryptocurrency, namely Bitcoin, okay? Um, Bitcoin is a very powerful tool. And it's strange because today I was reading an Acts and then it said, um, it related to how the way the poor are treated must be changed. And that is so true. You know, um, we, the working class poor, because now the standard of being wealthy is, is quadrupled. So if you make $100,000 annually, you're not considered wealthy anymore. You're considered the working poor. So let me, let me go into how empowering a financial literacy platform that will help elevate you from welfare to millionaire or from that mentality. Not saying that you want welfare, you know, but uh, look, I'm short, I'm short of $100,000 a year, right? By next year, I'll be above $100,000 a year. Um, will I still be considered the working poor? Well, it depends on how many zeros I'm able to add to my account, but that mentality level of settling that mentality level of just thinking that well it's good enough because i'm comfortable is a welfare mentality people in my era and before my time and shortly after my time will be taught the wrong things about wealth and about the mindset of money we have to be really taught about finances we really have to be taught about money because we are living in scarcity we don't want to overspend or we do overspend on wrong things we don't invest and i'm saying we because I'm, I'm speaking from personal experiences and from what i see to be a large population of people who do it either we're overspending and getting in debt or we are underspending and afraid to spend money or afraid to invest in ourselves to help generate wealth. So, some of the things that people can do to change that mindset is to be around people who have the same mindset about money, who want to improve, who want to increase their monetary value, of course, and who are looking to have successful gains and increase in cash flow. That's here in MLS. We had a really simple system. It's amazing and a lot of people shy away from it or not, um, don't have interest in it initially because they're saying, oh, it's just a Bitcoin club, that stuff is fake, oh, it doesn't work, or oh, it's the evil money, or that's not real money, or what have you. There's a lot of people who thought that who are highly successful and very wealthy people, I'm talking billionaires, who are now adapted to cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, namely because they see it's not going anywhere. And uh, people often ask, okay, well, what's it backed by? What's it backed by? Oh, it's blockchain technology and driven by the people who are using it. So it's a global need for this type of currency that drives it. And needs always outweigh popularity. When somebody needs will always come first because 
we have starving people and hungry people and they need to eat. Do you think if they saw something laying on the ground and it looked edible, they wouldn't eat it if they're starving? No, they're gonna eat it. And if you see people with given the opportunity to elevate, let's say let's say this, you have the movie theater and you and you you wanna see your show and it's a great show and there's somebody comes and sits in front of you with a big hairdo or a big hat and stuff and then now you can't see kind of pissed off because you want you want to see clearly you want to clearly see what you paid your money for and you want a good view so let's say for instance it wasn't science cleaning but you have this really generous couple who says okay you know i'm really i'm i'm too close to the screen or whatever you know what i'll i'll switch i'll take your thing you take mine there's no problem if you wanted to clearly see you'll move up and you'll say thank you you'll take advantage of that you'll take that opportunity so people choose pick and choose what opportunities they want to take they are very selective when it's trivial matters but when it's something that is big they are froze and they're, they're they're like easy to say no you can have people who have a mindset about money and think that cash money goes the world cash money is valueless it is just paper it's paper that's all it is and it's something else that we got to carry around and it's germy and it and it carries disease and it carries filth and, and it's this cumbersome, old-fashioned, antiquated way of generating um, fiat from one place to another or transporting fiat from one place to another. So when banks want to transport a huge amount of money, their typical method of doing so is what's called an electronic wire transfer or electronic funds transfer, right? So they'll do that because it's easier. And what happens? They don't actually send the funds. It's a promise of funds. And it's just a credit that applies to somebody else's account. And then they just start using it either on their debit card or they go to the bank and they withdraw a promise from another institution that promised from another institution that promised and there was never any real transfer of fiat. There was never any real transportation of money. The armored truck did not go to that bank and take money to satisfy that transfer. The armored trucks move money from point A to point B just because it's cumbersome and gets in the way and they have to move it out. And then sometimes they have to move it in so people can get more of this paper. But, yeah, that is just a method. That's one way of transporting money. Another way is cryptocurrency. Bitcoin can be transferred the same way. It's blockchain technology. It's called cryptology. Funds are transported from one wallet to another wallet with a very minimal fee. Without interaction from banks without interactions from third parties it goes through blockchain there is a ledger and that is the blockchain that shows every single transaction that is done with bitcoin the thing about that is that when a transaction is done it is very 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 um personal your identity is not known. All you see is a wallet number. No one has this, a way of knowing who sent this money other than the person who sent it and where they're sending it to because they know. They have a record. They have a ledger. But if you want to send some money to someone across the world, you don't have to pay $100 to Western Union or $50 to Western Union or to the other place. I forgot the name, but that wires money for you. You don't have to send all that money um, through 
those avenues anymore. If somebody has Bitcoin, you could just send them money directly to their wallet and they could put it on their BitPay Visa or it could go directly to their wallet address for their BitPay. You know, you, you have a lot of different ways to get around those um, handicapping methods that the banks and the state and the government are trying to do with, with regards to money. So here we learn about cryptocurrency. We learn about the space and we learn about um, how to acquire Bitcoin for free, right? How to generate it via a peer-to-peer -peer cycler and then also how to protect it because if you're not aware, leaving your money on a site like Coinbase or Bitcoin Mama or any of those other hot wallets or um, website platforms is not a good idea at all. It's a very bad idea. And the reason for that is because, of course, those sites can be hacked. Oh, wow, Sorry. Yeah. So those sites can be hacked and you can lose all your funds. So the safest place to keep your cryptocurrency is in the Tracer, and the second you know, best place is in the wallet or actually put it on your Visa card if you have a BitPay or if you have a Shift card. Um, I hear there's another um, Bitcoin card out. I'm gonna do some research and see what it is. But I have two already, so I really don't need another one. I love the BitPay. Um, the Shift card, I haven't used it yet, but I've had it for a little over a year. And um, it's loaded, you know. So that's a, that's a really cool thing to have. And what's really good about um, learning about this space is, again, cryptocurrency is not going anywhere. Bitcoin is not going anywhere. It's very well established. It's been proven to work. People are buying houses, cars, boats paying college tuitions, paying off debts, you know, um, paying for services and supplies and buying everything and anything that regular cash fiat can buy with Bitcoin. Don't think, don't think that um, you, you can um, remain against cryptocurrency because in this world, that's where we're headed. It's all going to be digital currency. People are using credit like water. Well, have you ever seen the money on a credit card? Or you get a credit card and you're, and you're spending it and you have to send your money to pay back for money that you have never even seen only because the, the card made you able to make a purchase, the card made you able to pay a bill, the card made you able to do a transaction or pay for something just like a Bitcoin Visa card or a Bitcoin shift card. You can pay for things with that too. And the great thing about Bitcoin is that the value of it rises when the currency rises. Yes, it could fall, but that's where a club like MLS is super important and that's where it becomes more valuable a tool not only for the financial literacy education inside of the club but for the value and the leveraging of bitcoin it is amazing what you can do with just a little bit of cryptocurrency and how you can come out with a lot in the end we're a leveraging club teach people the power of multiplication by simple inviting people to join our platform by showing others that cryptocurrency is a very powerful tool it's a very powerful instrument it is leveling the playing field for us poor us working class poor and us physically really poor people this is the opportunity this was the decentralized fiat that made banks and made the government not have control over our money. And this is why it's so powerful. We want to remain decentralized and have the power and own our own money. Why can't we own our money as a people? Why do banks and feds and government have to be in control of everything? So this is a way, a safe area where, yes, 
we can we can acquire wealth and we could be living amongst the wealthiest people in the world and it's a beautiful thing why would you why would a person not want to attain wealth if it's right here for the taking that's that's my only question you know um, money is powerful money is necessary unfortunately you know for some, money is the root of all evil. You know, some people choose to do bad things with money, but hey, people choose to do bad things who don't have money. So you have to learn what kind of person you are, what kind of morale you have, what kind of mindset you have. Where do you want to see your life going? Where do you want to um, see the lives of your loved ones and your future generations going? You know, I'm getting ready to become my own bank. I have an infinite banking system going. Um, this is really powerful. You know, I'm looking to open my own nonprofit organization. I have ideas and goals. I want properties. I have, um, you know, I want rental real estate properties and short-term properties that some of them I own and some I won't own. And I'm just looking to do a lot with money. So, how am I starting this off? Well, MLS Bitcoin Club. It's a platform. It's an easy way to generate wealth. It comes with a whole bunch of knowledge and tools that help you to take all the steps necessary to improve your outlook on life. You know, I'm in the um, MLS Bitcoin Club Trading Academy, and inside the Trading Academy, we trade every day. We trade the forex market, we trade cryptocurrency indices, and um, we've been on the S&P, NASDAQ, and um, the Dow, right? And of course, uh, Bitcoin. Um, but every day, I'm trading. Every day, you know, I'm making money. Have I suffered losses? Absolutely. Why? Because I'm learning. But I am learning from who I consider to be the best. You know, I mean, others can say different. There's Jason Vaughn, there's Timothy Sykes, there's a lot of other traders. There's a woman, I forgot her name, um, but she's a very successful trader. And there are many successful traders. But this technique and the, the the platform that we're learning inside MLS, we read price action. We have certain indicators that no other people use. We don't use the McAfee and all of that stuff that they talk about um, in regular trading. What is that? Who cares? You know why? Because we have we have indicators that really reflect market action, and we are learning. Every every day I'm learning something new. I'm just I'm just really impressed about how much knowledge our mentor has. You know, we sit in the trade room and while we're waiting for the paint to dry, so to speak, we're talking infinite banking. We're talking, you know, our whole life. We're talking about HELOCs. We're talking about how you know what what happened after you started your LLC and what about the bank and did you get credit and okay well if you didn't this is this is something that you can do to do that you know we're talking about a whole bunch of different financial literacy tools even sometimes we discuss offshore accounts you know we haven't gotten deep into it because i'm not at the level right now where i need an offshore account well actually i am because i want to trade on april trade and i need an offshore account because Unfortunately, one of the best trading platforms in the world does not, you know, let you trade if you're living in the United States. So, yeah, eventually, I'll have one. I have an Able Trade account, but I can't use it. I could demo on it, but that's it, you know. Um, so, these are things that I'm, I just wanted to bring to the table today. Money is key. You need money to you need money to be able to be charitable. You need money to generate money. And it can all start with a simple investment in yourself, a positive um, influence from a friend, a neighbor, or a family member, somebody who directs you to a club such as the one that I'm involved in. This place is changing.
change their lives for people across the world. Literally here in the United States and outside the United States on a regular basis. So we have people come on a call every evening and um, some leave a testimony, some do not. Um, some just aren't able to speak like others, you know, and they can't express their feelings about the platform. Or others are just doing them and don't take the time out to even come on these calls or to express, you know, express their their growth. You know, I see people who drop off and just don't say nothing, but you know, they made a lot of money. They gained a lot of interest and learned a lot of things through this platform, through this club, and have really, really been blessed. And I'm blessed. I'm glad to be a part of the MLS Bitcoin Club. I'm learning so much every day. I'm learning how to generate cash flow. I'm learning to trade. I am learning all about the infinite banking system. I'm ready, you know, I'm almost ready to get a HELOC. I'm going to pay down some mortgage more than do that, and um, that would be another cash flow or resource for us to just expand. You know, I'm still looking for my first property. I had interest in some. I keep missing good deals, too. I mean, I'm always late on the drawer when I see something that looks good. Somebody already has it. And I'm just like, are you serious? Like, I can't get a break there. But it'll come. I'm just going to keep trying. So, um, it's it's time to them and it is really time to them and I gotta remember there's a lot of people out there doing the same thing I'm doing I don't have an MLS license so I, I can't see what's up there first I don't get a first bid that stuff I gotta wait until it's listed so those are the issues that I'm having I'm gonna start using my other tools I have some resources and I'm gonna use them um, more often in order to generate some leads because really leads leads are everything so that's super important um, guys i just want to say yeah money money is super um popular topic i'm sure everybody has all kinds of different ideas and ideals about it but you have to want what you want and if you really want something you'll do whatever you need to do to get it done and if you don't want to do it You'll make every excuse in the world. So, with that being said, I want to invite you guys to our call. It's daily, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's 712-432-0075. And the PIN number is 543-556, pound sign. Again, this is a daily elevation call for the MLS Bitcoin Club, where we are changing people's lives for the rest of their lives join our club you can start with a free seven day tour the back office learn all of the things that we offer inside the club and get a look at our professional development suite in the back you know make a make a judgment for yourself but you guys have a great day thank you for listening i'll see you tomorrow bye bye